Good evening. While the men contemplate life in the last eight at Lakeside, the women have one eye on Friday's final. And after an emotional few weeks, there would be no finer way for Trina Gulliver to honour the memory of her late mum than by sealing world title number 10. But first, she'd have to make the final, and standing in her way was the 2008 champion, Anastasia de Bromislova. Will you please welcome the Golden Girl, Trina Gulliver! to throw first. Game on. And so the semi-final that every single man, woman and child around this lakeside 16. complex has been waiting for all week. Trina Gulliver, the nine-time world champion against Anastasia Dobromyslova, the Russian that beat her in 2008 in the final and one of only two women, Vasos, to beat the Golden Girl on this very much her own stage. Yeah, she has never failed to reach the final here, Trina Gulliver, and going for a frankly astonishing 10th world title here. 100. Only twice has she lost on this stage, both times in the final, to Francis Honsler, and as you mentioned in 2008, to her opponent here this evening, Anastasia Dobromyslova, 27 years of age, a Russian who lives in Ellesmere Port in Cheshire, and married to a darts player, of course, Tony Martin. As uh, is Trina, married to a darts player, her partner Sue is here cheering her on from the back. Married in a civil ceremony in 2010. 60. And there, the daughter Paige. One hundred. The thing about these two excellent players is their consistent, excellent scoring and finishing in the women's game. With all due respect to the number one seed, Dieter Hedman, these are many people's favourites for the title in 2012. Anastasia, 146. Dobra Mislova unseeded, but has had great success since returning to the BDO. She can't finish here, but she will be back. 81. Throwing first in this first leg of the match, Trina Gulliver back on 200. 100. Desperately like a treble. 41. I'm not Anastasia sure she was 65. thinking straight, leaving 159. No possible out shot. She really should have switched down to 19s. Might be totally irrelevant if this double 10 comes in. 55. But it is very much relevant, and Anastasia looks to have just slowed her game down a touch. Gulliver can't finish, though. 45. Even with all of her experience on the lakeside stage, it can take a leg just to settle the nerves and settle into a match. Two fives for Dobromislova to hold a throw in the first leg of the match. She's getting further away. Five. 
Jeannie Rukwai, 114. She's not getting any faster retrieving her darts, is she? Lovely first dart. Single 14 now. Leaves double top, ready to steal this leg. 74. Oh, wasn't far away from and it. Does Daisy require five? She's missed five darts at a double so far. Oh, no she's score. not going to get any more now. That's nerves. Genie that is absolute nerves. And Gulliver not even looking at her opponent as she dawdles her way to the board to pick the dart back out again. Dropping short. And it's double five for Trina Gulliver. You can feel how big this match is from the darts that have been thrown in this opening leg. 30. Neither girl relaxed five. on the throw at all. Can she hit big one this time? Yes, so two darts at double two. One dart at double one. Three. Genie required ten. Tension everywhere, and I have to say, Anastasia, it'd be nice if you just got a little bit of a move on when you walk to the board there. That's that's gamesmanship. I've seen her throw much faster and walk much faster around the hockey before. Gulliver focused on the double, Game and she gets the, the double. Leg. Gina Gulliver. So for all... Second leg, the big Trina build up. to throw first. Game on. Both ladies here serving up a tense, nervy, scruffy opening leg. Sixty. Double five for Trina Gulliver to win that first leg. Against the darts. Dobra Mislova missed seven starts at a 100. double. And Paige, we mentioned, and Ellie, Trina's niece, watching here as well, her sisters in the house. And the one 18. lady, of course, that she would have wanted at the lakeside to cheer her on, her mum, Muriel, sadly, passed away just before the championship began. But as Trina says, she's on my shoulder, watching every dart. 41. Trina's shoulder, she'll love every single one of that, 180. 58. Beautiful. If Anastasia is uh, trying to slow Trina Gulliver up here and employing a little bit of gamesmanship, 22. I think it's the wrong tactic. Didn't work, obviously, with that 180. And look, Trina Gulliver really fired up for this game, giving it large for the celebrations. If it does get attritional on the stage, 45. you feel that there's only going to be one winner. But it's, it's a silly tactic. I know gamesmanship is very much part of darts, and, and every player has a few little tricks up their sleeve. 59. But I honestly think that the one person that loses out is the one that's throwing the darts and taking their time, because they're not playing their own game of darts. They're concentrating more on their opponent rather than playing the board. 45. Here we go again. Trini require 100. Stare at the board and then a slow walk to retrieve the darts. Gulliver wants double 10 to make it totally irrelevant. 19. Unlucky. Run on the wire. She will be back though. Forty-three, and I'm not Trini being harsh on Anastasia here. I watched her practice today, and, and she was a totally different pace on the practice board. Double five, there Games you go. On the second leg, second leg in a row. Gulliver, Gulliver takes double five. Game on. Means business here. Feels that she owes the Russian one for the 2008 victory. That Anastasia 60. thoroughly deserved that year, but Trina desperately wanted. And Paige did as well.
60. And that is Sue Gulliver, who lives every dart. Does Trina's sister sat next to her on the uh, table? 43. Well, that's in. Just lifting the foot slightly 100. as she throws. Like a ballerina on point. Good 134. Switch. Tony Martin. Uh, what's he asking for divine inspiration and intervention tonight? Anastasia's husband. 81. One hundred and forty. Both of these ladies now in the groove 81. as far as their scoring Anastasia goes. But Gulliver not down to a finish. Anastasia more than capable of taking this out, should she show so wish. And she could take the bullseye. And 99. very nearly produced a 1-2-4. That was unlucky. Sometimes a finish like that just... You could do with it to get you going on your doubles when you're struggling. Now, Trina Gulliver knows, but her opponent is struggling on the finishes, and what a fantastic final dart to pressure the 25. Double 12 for Dobromislova, yes. On the third leg. She finally finds a double. Fourth leg, Trina to throw first. Game on. Not short on confidence, is she? Abundance of arrogance and a swagger about Dobromislova. She has this air of a Tsarina up on the hockey. Gulliver, the street fighter. 59. Her favourite double 12. And <laughs> she loved it. We've seen smaller celebrations for match victories. That was just the first leg of the match. Trina Gulliver here with the darts, throwing for the first set. First of two sets through to the final. 100. And that was a little signal to uh, her hubby, a little nod. She's finally getting going. One hundred. Forty five. <laughs> oh, I tell you what, it's not quite rumble in the jungle, but it's certainly handbags at twenty paces, this one, isn't it? 100. Helen Chamberlain has come down to support Anastasia again, and I think to give Tony Martin a bit of support out in the audience. Gulliver with a perfect opportunity for a 140 here. 100. Respectful player himself. Knows Trina inside out very well. He played on the BDO circuit for many years, did Tony? I think he might be coming back to play. In the video as well, along with Anastasia, who's pumped up now, isn't she? She feels she's getting a bit of momentum. And she's right, she is. She started to play her own game a little bit as well, rather than uh, concentrating on what she can do to knock Gulliver off her stride. 85. Anastasia required 101.